I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the elder high priest, the teachers of our apostles, as well as the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. All right. I want to send peace and blessings on to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I'm going to read out of the Psalm uh, 103. And I'm going to read the uh, six verses into this Psalm. And uh, I see where the Spirit take me. I may uh, have some precepts to go with. Uh, some of these verses or you know we're just gonna go i'm just gonna go through the spirit lord willing so um lord willingness is edifying and uh not only edifying but exhorting on to us brothers you know because this is uh why i'm really bringing this out mainly for uh exhortation okay so psalm 103 and this is a psalm of david by the way it says Bless the Lord, just Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, O my soul, and all that is with me. I'm sorry, and all that is within me, within me. Bless His holy name, and you had to know His name to bless His name. Okay. It says, Bless the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, because knowing the name of our Lord Yahweh and Yahweh, okay, knowing those names and knowing that they are uh, and believing in them, all right, is very beneficial one to us, you know. And let's read about it. It says, who redeemed thy life from destruction, because we was all headed <laughs> down the road of destruction. All of us that are, I'm sorry, that have been woken to this truth. Okay, without this truth, you're headed um, for destruction. They got a song called Headed uh, Self-Destruction, uh, Headed for Self-Destruction, right? So, without this truth... You know, you we will be uh, going down the road of destruction, which this whole system, the society that we live in, especially here in Babylon the Great, is a very destructive uh, setup. You know, it destroys you instead of builds you instead of building you up. All right, it says. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. And this is only for, ultimately this is only applied to the elect right now. Okay, the ones that are, you know, trying to show themselves in the reflection of being the elect. Because the uh, the elect will show forth the, the character and the works all right the mentality to show that they're worthy of being the elect all right so the most high is very uh merciful and, and uh, has loving kindness all right on to his on to his elect it says who satisfied who satisfied thy mouth with good things it says so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. It says the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, executed, uh, executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. And, you know, ultimately, you know, the Most High is going to, this is going to um, befall the whole nation of, uh, I'm sorry, the whole nation of the children of Israel. But for right now, in this time, and here in the last days, this only really applies to the elect. 
And then the rest of the children of Israel will receive these, you know, the mercy, the loving kindness. All right. Um, being righteous. You know, right now with the elect is obtaining righteousness through the through the faith. The you know, the rest of the the rest of Israel, they don't have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And if you go back to the sixth verse in Psalm 103, it says the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai executed um righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Now all of Israel we are oppressed. Okay. But what does it say in um what is that? I think it's Isaiah the thirtieth chapter. It it tells us that um uh, Israel and this is really pertaining to you know the two thirds two thirds of Israel here in this land um they love oppression. No, no, it don't say love. It says they trust in oppression. Okay? So they're fine with uh, this system. And they believe, uh, you know, some way, somehow, that, um, you know, they can get a, uh, they can receive what, you know, only our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai can bring, which is, you know, peace, you know, prosperity judgment righteousness through through um esau's system you know where only the most high through his son can bring this can lift the oppression off of us okay and that time is coming you know the time of of our redemption and for us to get out of this um hellhole of a society is near you know we know first jacob's trouble first jacob's trouble had to take place and the rest of the prophecies and once yahweh shall come you know he's gonna get us out of this situation all right he's gonna deliver us from this oppression from this destruction if we are of the, whoever is of the elect and you know, we pray and hope and we're, you know, we're um, the ones of us that have this truth. You know, we're preparing ourselves through the spirit to meet our Lord. In other words, we're we're, we're purifying ourselves through this truth so that we may be found worthy to be delivered. OK. Like I said, I was going to read the uh, first six verses of uh, Psalm 103. Of course, uh, this whole chapter is, is good. Very beautiful chapter to read. But I just want to hit those first uh, six verses. And the uh, Lord willingness was uh, edifying. Sorry. Edifying and um, exhorting onto our spirit. Our spirit. You know, and until uh, the next video, I'm going to end it right there. Until the next video, I say Shalom.